Hi guys, so today I want to talk about emotions and I know I talk about emotional releasing sometimes but I just want to talk about it a little bit more in general and maybe just approach it from a different angle. So if you do emotional release that's fantastic but if you're not doing that or even if you do uh, the simplest form of release, I have mentioned this before, is simply to feel your emotions but I want to go a little deeper into that. So simply feeling your emotions you know what what does that mean so essentially what it really means is that when a strong emotion comes up when it's emotion that you don't like an emotion that is unpleasant for you especially if it's one that's got you really agitated and really unhappy to the point where you have to go distract yourself with whatever it is it could be drugs or alcohol or exercising or Facebook or something, right? So if you're feeling an urge to go do that or eat food or whatever it is, then you don't like the way you feel. So you're having an emotion that you're not happy about. So when you go and distract yourself, then that emotion doesn't come out fully and it doesn't really process. So it doesn't really move through you. So a lot of it gets stored and you're going to have to go back to it later. And or it's going to come up in some weird way, right? So what you want to do is feel the emotion. And of all the things you can do in your life, whether it's self-care things or things for your career or things to be successful or happy or for your relationship or your family or yourself or to build your self-respect, your self-love, all of these things, this is a key component and I think it's the one that's often overlooked and quite often. And it's just as important, if not more important, than taking care of all these other things. Of course, you need to do them all, but um, this is something that can be quite powerful and can have a really dramatic effect in a very short period of time, even a very short period of time, even a few seconds. And that can't be said for most of these things. Usually it takes longer than a few seconds, you know. This can take a long time as well, but it can also be very quick and it can also be very dramatic. And when you start to do it on a regular basis, it can really, it will change your life in some way. Something will change. Something will absolutely change if you start doing this. So when a strong emotion comes up, like, anger. So if you get so angry, you know, that you could have an anger outburst, especially, or if you are feeling fearful or nervous or so nervous that, you know, you could have an anxiety attack or so much grief that you'll just, you know, collapse from it, or you're just so depressed, you just don't feel like living and you feel like everything's pointless and nothing's worth anything. So all of these things, all these states are states of having emotions that you don't like. And the thing to do is to actually feel them. So the simplest form of release, the simplest form of allowing is just to allow. And when that emotion comes up, then you just sit and feel it. You know, so why don't you try this? The next time an emotion comes up that you don't like, then and you get that impulse, you start to move, right? You'll start to move towards the TV. You'll start to move towards the bottle. You start to move towards the, um, exercise bike or outside to run or whatever it is and um, when you get that impulse and you start to do the thing because you don't feel good then stop go okay wait I'm having an emotion sit down and feel that emotion you know, just allow yourself to feel it and uh, you don't have to sit down but I find it's, for most people, the most helpful thing to do. You could probably pace back and forth or walk around in circles. But, um, but sit down and allow yourself to feel that emotion. And it's not always easy at first to know if you're truly feeling it. So play around with it a little. Just try and open to it. Try and just accept that it's happening. I think that's maybe the key is that we don't want it to be happening. I don't want this to be happening. So I'm going to do something else so that it's not happening. You know, I'm going to make it not happen. 
So, but it is happening and you can't really stop it from happening, not permanently. You can temporarily put a pause on it, but it's just going to come back and most likely come back in a worse way. So to sit down and accept that it's happening and allow it to happen and don't try and stop it. And that takes some letting go. That takes giving in. It takes surrendering to it, really, to really just let yourself go and just... I give up, I surrender, I will just let happen whatever will happen and just fall into it and have no expectation and don't care what's going to happen, you know, I don't care what happens, I have no attachment to the outcome of this, so I'm just going to open up and something will happen and I don't know what that is and I'm going to not try and influence the outcome one way or the other. So when you can really do that, then you can really let that emotion live and flow. And really, like these extreme emotional states that we run into that can be problems for people, and almost all of us have had one of them at least once or twice, um, whether it's depression and feeling like you're just, ugh, you know, I just want to die because there's nothing's worth anything, you know? There's no point. So if you're feeling there's no point, that really, that emotion is coming from a place of you not allowing yourself to feel your grief and your sadness. In that peak of it, that real just kind of, ooh, where people can even get suicidal, is because you're not feeling it. If you let go to it, that peak won't be there. So there won't be this kind of I don't want to live peak if you allow yourself to feel the grief. So it may be unpleasant. It will be unpleasant. It'll be this thing you don't like, but it won't peak with that. And you'll and it will end. So you will go through it in a process and it may take 2 seconds, it may take 2 hours, but you will go through it and at the end it will be over. It will be gone. And you will never encounter the thing where you want to um, not live. The same thing with anxiety. If you're really fearful, if you can really feel it and sit down with it, you won't get to the anxiety attack part where you collapse. And with anger, you won't get to the part where you explode and throw things, whatever you do. And those extreme things that happen at the end, those things that are become crises that really affect our lives, those things come from not feeling it, from not letting go to it, from not opening to it. And that's one of the great positive effects of this, but it is not the only one. There are many more. So when these things can process, your life will start to change in other ways, too. It will help you physically. You'll start to... All that energy and junk is getting stored in your body, and you've got all these things going on, especially if you're... The more you're like that, the more anxiety you have or depression or anger, the more there's this internal battle in you to kind of suppress those emotions and make sure they don't come out. And it's taking tons of your energy to do that. You're not aware of it, but tons of your energy is getting used up doing that. So that energy is not used on taking care of your body. That energy is not used for doing other things. It's making you tired. You know, you'll get really tired all the time. People who don't have a lot of energy is because they're, you could have a physical thing, but often it's because of this emotional war that's going on within you and this suppression of your emotions that you refuse to feel. And when you start feeling them, you'll find that now you have more energy and you'll also find that your body starts to function better. You know, people, you know, your stomach problems will get better. Your muscles won't be tight in your neck like that anymore. You can, it'll be easier to exercise. You won't pull muscles, you know, all kinds of benefits. You'll have all kinds of physical benefits and you'll have more energy in your life and you'll find out that you have more time and you'll have more time to do things. And then, um, You'll also, your brain will clear up and you'll be able to think of things better. You'll have great ideas. Because imagine your life if you had more time, better ideas, ideas for solutions to your problems. You had um, a healthier body. You had more energy all the time. 
and this is the result of feeling your emotions. And not to mention, you know, not having those big blow-ups or collapses and not having to run to whatever distraction, whether it's uh, alcohol, drugs, or pills, or you're on a prescription medicine from a doctor because you're not coping with this stuff, you know, you're not feeling it, you know, and some people may need that, but I think a lot of people don't really need it. They just need to feel their emotions. So, um, now another issue can be the expectations. So if you expect, like you open to it, right? You let it go. Don't expect that you're doing that so that it will instantly disappear. That actually can happen. I've had it happen, but don't count on it. You know, it's usually not going to happen. You may have to just feel that emotion for a long time. And another thing that can happen is that it can keep being re-triggered. So you actually are going through it all, but then another one is coming up that's just so similar. You can't tell them apart. And that can especially happen. One thing to keep in mind with this is like, if you keep getting re-triggered, so if there's something in your environment that's re-triggering you, so say that you got really angry because somebody was yelling at you. If that somebody is still in the room yelling at you and you're you know going through your emotions, right, and you're feeling it, well, if they yell at you again, you get it's triggered again, it's triggered again, it's triggered again. As long as they're there doing that, that'll continue to get re-triggered. And so if it's that, if it's something in your environment, a person or whatever else, then the thing to do is to remove yourself from that environment. Go be alone and feel your emotions there. And I probably don't say that often enough, is that this stuff should be done alone. It doesn't have to be done alone. You can do it with other people there. And it will be helpful and it'll help support you and make things easier. But to really go through it and really complete the process of feeling that emotion, it's going to work a lot better if you're alone. So go be alone. Go all the way through it if you can. If you're stuck somewhere, you're at work, you're at a meeting, whatever, then do what you can while you're there. Then eventually, when you get off work, go try and complete it and do it alone. So... That way you can get through the process. But I think um, it's incredibly beneficial to do this. And it's one of the key components to health and success in every area of life. And it is often overlooked. So without it, really, all the other things will most likely eventually fall apart. So some people naturally do it. Some people naturally feel their emotions and they're already doing it. And they can be really successful and they never have to think about it and do this, but they're not a lot of people like that, though they do exist. And um, I know a lot of really successful people kind of were already born with this skill, and but they're, they're pretty far and few, few between, or few and far between. So just try it. Just sit down. Next time it comes up, sit down, feel it, let go to it. You might have to experiment with it a little. Um, it might not work the very first time you try. You, you might not be able to quite get there, or you might think you're getting there when you're not. You're like, oh, wait, I am completely letting go. How come nothing's happening? It's like, well, you, you kind of got to get to the right place where you're really letting go, where you really, you know, and it might take some experimentation. But even if you just let go a little, it will have a positive effect. And you might feel it soon. You might feel it later, you might not feel it, but it will have an effect. So don't be discouraged by it just because you don't see an immediate result, which you may or may not see. But if you do it repeatedly, you do it a few times, see what happens, you know, see if you get an effect, see what happens for you. Just try it and go from there. And you can uh, message me here, send me questions, if you get stuck on this. I'm here to help you. Just send the message, ask me, and I will give you some guidance. So, and remember to like this video. Until next time. Mm -hmm.